Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to Community Journal. Thank you very much for joining us. We do appreciate you tuning us in, and I don't believe it, but here we are, Labor Day weekend. I, I don't know where the summer went. I don't either. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it just goes by very quickly. and uh, It did. It did. And supposedly, this is, uh, you know, socially, people call this the end of summer. Uh, but uh, around here in the town of Harwich, there are so many activities uh, after Labor Day, um, it really isn't. It, uh, the beat goes on, as they say. Exactly. And it used to be that you couldn't wear white after Labor Day. Well, that's no longer true either. Uh -oh. So all of the things we're going to tell you about, you can wear white. Yeah, you're going to need your pencil and paper because there are a lot of things going mm -hmm. on. And uh, boy, has it ever been hot. But, uh, you know, it's... Uh, very interesting. We have been lucky here on the Cape. It has not been as hot as it has been in other places. Um, uh, we were driving down from Maine yesterday, mm -hmm. and at one point uh, in Norwell, uh, on Route 3, I looked at the car thermometer, and outside it was 102 degrees outside. But then it cooled down to 95 by the time we got to Plymouth. Right, by the time <laughs> we got there. But on the Cape here, <clears throat> Uh, the highest temperature I've recorded so far is 88 degrees. And, wow, uh, we didn't crack 90. No, huh? we did not. Wow. And of course, a lot of thermometers is interesting. A lot of thermometers will crack 90, but um, they're picking up some uh, ultraviolet radiation from the sun. And um, where I do report to the Weather Bureau every day, you have to have what's known as a radiation shield on a thermometer, and that prevents uh, false readings. So that's mm -hmm. why we really haven't cracked 90 officially yet. Uh, at least uh, at our location. So we are very lucky here on the Cape. Yes, you have a radiation shield. I have a radiation shield. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Not on me, but... <laughs> no, but it's important to have it on the thermometer. Uh, I yes, know. it is yes. important to have it on the thermometer. That's true. Well, anyway, we've got a great show today, and our first uh, clip is uh, uh, we're going to go uh, with Cindy Williams and Dinah sat down together at the chamber to give us a an update as to what's going on, and there is a lot going on. So uh, let's take a look with uh, Cindy and Dinah and see what's happening at the chamber. Hello, I'm here with Cindy Williams again. So nice to see you, Cindy. Nice to see you too, Dinah. We haven't checked in for a while, and here we are. I can hardly believe it's almost the end of the summer activities in Harwich, but I know you have a few special things coming up. We do. Uh, it is the end of the summer, as you mentioned. We have um, two more strolls um, Wednesday, today. Actually, this will air after tonight's, but um, it's August 29th and then uh, September 5th. We did the first uh, September, uh, Wednesday in September. Some of the businesses had asked to just extend it a little bit more, and it's nice, too, because the locals can come out if they haven't had a chance to come out during the summer. <laughs> so we're doing it um, 5 to 8 because it does get darker um, earlier. So 5 to 8 next Wednesday, September 5th, um, will be our encore to summer, we're calling it. And we've got the O Boys, Mike Dumas and the Satellite Band, um, Aaron Norcross Trio, and then uh, Jazz Till Dawn. So uh, it's a special one for everyone, so we're hoping everyone will come out, enjoy the great restaurants, shop the galleries, um, the shops, and uh, enjoy. And then... Uh, it certainly is a popular, popular evening, those Wednesday nights. It is. I believe we've been trying to figure out what the uh, anniversary is. Someone said, oh, yeah, it's going to be the 25th, and then someone else says it's going to be the 18th. So we're pretty sure it's around the 18th <laughs> um, that we'll be going into next year. So it's been going on for quite a few years. Depends um, on how you count. Right. And a lovely woman, um, Jennifer Chase, um, started this many years ago when she had her business in Harwichport with uh, Ron from Sativa. So, uh, you know, everyone does enjoy it. It's been nice to have it every Wednesday. Um, so then people that come during the summer won't miss it. Yes. You know, years ago it was every other and you'd miss it. So if you looked forward to it when you were booking your vacation, this year, now, now you can, and it's been the fourth year that we've done it that way, so it's worked out for everyone. And it's nice to know that you can count on it every week. Absolutely. For those of us who are here most of the time, it's great. If you happen to miss one, you know there's another one coming up. another one coming up, one coming week, up right behind so it. <laughs> and it is such a fun thing. It is. It's yeah. great. The generations, too, from the little ones dancing yeah. to the, you know, adults um, just enjoying everything, all kinds of music. It's Yes. It, ranges yeah. the gamut mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's a yeah. it's a great event to do um and uh, we've been very fortunate um with all the merchants and the sponsors that we have for it so thank you to all of them as well um because it is it takes a lot to do all the events but we're very fortunate so 
But then we do continue on into September, and uh, September 9th is the uh, annual um, parade. This year, um, the theme is uh, Feel the Rhythm of Harwich, which kind of was the theme of um, our magazine this uh, year as well. And um, Buddy Hall from Bud's Go-Karts um, and from many other facets of the town as well is our Grand Marshal. Um, had a lovely conversation um, with him last Friday. And if any of you watch Facebook, yes, there was a live video of Buddy and I in a go-kart. Uh -huh. um, last week and will he's he be just riding in a go-kart no parade? no there is a special car that he will be in one of his very own it's a vintage white mustang convertible and uh that's what he wanted to ride in so we said absolutely the parade starts at 11 30. um once again we'll line everybody up on freeman and hoyt and then go down 28 up Doan, cross over Sisson to set, no, south to Sisson to south again, and then it will end up um, at the Cultural Center this year. We're actually going to have a set ending spot over the years. It's been, all right, well, everyone will just kind of go off their little ways, and so now we're going to have um, a judging. Um, we're going to have the bands that are in the parade be able to play for a little while. We have um, four wonderful bands um, that will be joining us. Uh, three have been with us this summer. But um, our Harwich Town Band, um, Earth Junior, will be once again on the chamber float. Um, we have Clayton Ristano Project and the Drummer Queens. So um, we're looking forward to that as well. There is still time to participate. So um, we've got the schools, both schools, the Montemoy Regional High School Athletics have a great um, float. The Cape Cod Regional High School is also participating. Um, the Pilgrim Masonic Lodge uh, will follow um, Buddy Hall. Buddy is the oldest um, master from the Masons Lodge here in Harwich Center, so we're pretty excited to have uh, them follow him as well. And they've been a great um, partner throughout things as well. They sponsor um, the Christmas tree lighting every year with us as well. So that's the parade. And then um, the second year of the fireworks, so we're really excited about that. Yeah. Um, we have two wonderful presenting sponsors. Um, this year's presenting sponsors are Stonewood Products and Zooty. Um, also our platinum sponsors, I wrote them all down so I'd remember everyone because everyone is such great partners with us for this um, and we're so all so proud of bringing these back. But um, Harwich Cranberry Festival is a platinum, platinum sponsor as well as Harwich Paint and Decorating, JFF Design Architects. Our gold sponsor is Terry's TV and Appliance. The silver sponsors are um, Mad Minnow Bar and Kitchen, 400 East, Outer Cape Health Services, and our newest restaurant um, in Harwichport, Capeside Kitchen. So we'll all uh, be um, excited for those. Those, again, are Saturday, September 15th. Um, how it all works is everyone's, uh, this is our second year with the Cranberry Festival behind the community center. And so after all the bands during Cran Jam, um, I can't remember the last one, but after that last one plays at 8 o'clock, then the skies just absolutely will illuminate. And I've been told that um, the fireworks company is not bringing the fog this year. So <laughs> <laughs> we can count on that. Eh? That's what he said. But, you know, you can't control the weather. All you can do is have fun with something that is just so much part of that Cranberry Festival history. So we're excited to have that. We're also doing our second um, annual business expo. Still time to be a part of that, um, but we're doing that um, at the community center in the gym. We have added a little twist to it as well. We're going to be um, having a um, motivational comedian from LA doing a continental uh, kickoff for the businesses. So if you'd like to participate, she is phenomenal and uh, we're excited to have her with us as well. And then finally, um, Probably one of the biggest things that are so important um, this September that um, we're excited for, but also um, many of you have heard me talk about it at uh, many meetings, but the uh, big fix. Um, Harwich um, was chosen as the town from the Housing Assistance uh, Corporation to be um, the town that they would um, fix homes for our um, veterans, um, disabled residents, as well as seniors who just have projects around the house, whether it's landscaping, painting, you know, whatever. So um, we ended up with over 50 applicants and then um, 17 homes will be done 
So um, it's a great community feel good day. It's Saturday, September 22nd from 8 to 2. And there's still time. Um, you can volunteer day of, um, have a team. If you have questions, certainly call me at the chamber, stop by. You can also donate if uh, you know you can't put together a team, but you want to give back to your neighbor somehow and to this great event. Um, I have on our website the Big Fix um, logo, and it directs you right to um, a first giving page for um, the Harwich Chamber, and um, that will then help in this project. So those are the big things for September, mm -hmm. just, just a few things. <laughs> just a few things as usual. Well, the Big Fix is in. The Big and Fix, yes. It sounds like it's going to be a really wonderful day as well. It is. And again, there's still time for people to donate and uh, to help out, right? Definitely. And so the number that was shown on the bottom of the screen a minute ago is, uh, is the, the chamber. To call. Yep, it's 508 430 1165 or our website, which is www.harwichcc.com. I always feel like I'm going to give an extra mm. W in there. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. will probably remember. In any case, uh, the next time we get together, perhaps there will be a nip in the air. There could we'll be a little be nip. It will be the fall. It will be fall for Harwich, which mm -hmm. kicks off September 1st and uh, until October 31st, and all, all kinds of wonderful things happening throughout Harwich for that. But we will uh, we'll talk more about Restaurant Week and just mm. we might give a little teaser about Christmas. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well it's but all. Let's not ahead. get crazy. It's <laughs> all coming up ahead. It and is. I know you'll keep us posted and you'll have lots for us Absolutely. to do. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Cindy. Thank thanks, you, Dinah. Thanks again for coming in. Well, of course, so much going on, and uh, I'm glad uh, Cindy and Dinah sat down to bring us up to date. And there's also going to be a business expo? Yes, there is. On the weekend of the uh, Cranberry Festival, as a matter of fact, it's going to be held at the Community Center Gym right here. Okay, and they've done that before. Yes. And it's a great opportunity yes. to learn about uh, several of the businesses, and uh, all that will be set up right in the gym, I guess. Uh, yes, right it is. In the Community Center. Mm -hmm. And that'll be on Saturday. On the Saturday of the festival weekend. Very good. Wow. All right. Boy, that's going to be a busy weekend. Yes, it is. It's going to be a busy month. <laughs> it sure, yeah, My it goodness. sure is. Yeah, and speaking of busy, yes. uh, what do you have coming up this weekend? Well, this weekend being Labor Day weekend, I have to keep saying it so I'll believe it. <laughs> um, Saturday, September 1st, the Harwich Police Association are going to hold their annual jailhouse barbecue, and we try not to miss it. It is just such a fun day. They are wonderful. Um, they started at 11 o'clock, it goes until 2, and it's held, of course, at the Harwich Police Department on, on Sisson Road, 183 Sisson Road, and there will be extra parking available at the Harwich Cultural Center. However, they are having their own flea, I think, their flea market that morning from 9 to 2, yeah. or that day from 9 to 2. So, you know, you might have to look around for parking, but it's, it's available there. Um, the event that I'm speaking about, the Jailhouse Barbecue, is going to feature Dunker Cop, in the tunk, dunk tank, and I know that's a very <laughs> popular event. Always is. Um, there's free mug shots for the kids. Uh, there's a bounce house for the kids and an obstacle course. Everyone gets to meet the HPD officers and staff. You will be able to view and tour the HPD cruisers, their ATVs, and their motorcycles. How exciting wow, for kids. Really oh, nice. my goodness. Yeah, the kids love that. And their refreshments, as always, are wonderful. They do a great job cooking hot dogs, hamburgers, chowder, and the whole nine yards. So they want to say a special thank you to their sponsors, and they are Stop and Shop, Georgia's Fish Market, and the 400 East. So I hope to see you there Saturday, September 1st, from 11 to 2, the annual Jailhouse Barbecue at the Harwich Police Department. Well, and it's going to be a nice day, Yeah, too. that always is a great day, mm. and uh, the food is great, <laughs> and, um, you know, you get The camaraderie, to, and it's just lovely. It, it's a nice way to meet, if you have not met uh, some of our police force, this is mm -hmm. a great opportunity. They do such a great job, and... Uh, um, you know, have a nice time. They're, They're great with the kids. They really are. Yeah, they really they are. are. And uh, same day, Saturday, September 1st. Busy. Uh, <laughs> once you've uh, had a great meal, you can go over to uh, the community center for the Labor Day weekend antiques show. That's going to be happening, being sponsored by the Harwich Historical Society. And that's happening on Saturday, September 1st from 10 to 3. And uh, 30, more than 30 quality dealers are going to be there. 
And here's a great opportunity if, uh, you know, to take a look at some things that uh, you may look familiar to you, you never know, something that you may want, something that you may be looking for. Is that um, a hint? <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> Well, I know we did a little antiquing when we were up in Maine. We did. We did, actually. Um, we didn't buy anything, but no, uh, we did no. uh, look. Um, I'm always looking around for a few things, but yes, uh, you, I know, know. you never know. <laughs> but anyway, this is a great opportunity because there's some great dealers coming, and uh, the admission is $6, and children are free. Uh, but if you have this card, this magic card, which is available, I think, here at the community center, um, you can get in for five dollars. So this card saves you a dollar. Lunch is available and uh, again that's going to be happening at the community center on Saturday. For more information you can call 508-432-8089. That's 508-432-8089 and their website uh, is the Harwich Historical Society dot org. And uh, so that's a great opportunity. Yes, we yeah. may wander over there after we, we have our hamburgers and hot dogs. After we have our hamburgers <laughs> and hot dogs. Right. Very good. And um, uh, we're going to have an um, update now. Carolyn uh, Carey, of course, um, um, our wonderful leader around here in the community center, uh, she sat down with Dinah to give us an uh, update of what's going on uh, between here and, of course, the cultural center. So let's take a look and see what's happening. Carolyn Carey is here to talk about all the doings at the Community Center and the Cultural Center. Always lots going on at both places. What's Always the, lots, but the most what's exciting. Top on, your, top on your list. Top on my list or top on other people's list is the exciting news about Sundays at the Community Center. Oh. So the Community Center, which just means, I should clarify that, the gym and the weight room mm -hmm. will begin to be open mm. September 23rd mm -hmm. and will be open from 10 until 3. So that's going to start in late September. So the weight, if you're a weight room member and you do need a membership, as you know, because you're one of our yes. faithful patrons, uh, <laughs> you will still need your membership um, to utilize the weight room, but it will now be open starting late September on the 23rd from 10 a.m. until 3. Well, that is exciting news. It is I'm exciting. Sure people who will take advantage exciting. of that. Exciting. And because we are going to open, I'm going to just remind people, as with everything, people need to know if it's going to be successful. So this will be very important that when you come, that you check in. Because if we mm -hmm. don't have the numbers mm -hmm. to support it, so right. just a reminder that make sure you're checking in when you're here. We will have somebody working, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, if they get called away or answering a phone, so please remember well, that. I'm it's glad important. you mentioned that, Carolyn, because uh, there's that handy-dandy little... Um, uh, scanner. Scanner. Yeah. It's called a scanner. Yes. Yes, and it's so fun to hold your, <laughs> hold your card up and actually see the thing beep when it hits the right number. That's right. So there's actually a little positive feedback involved in that and I think probably some people who don't use it have, have not realized that so I strongly recommend that as well. And, and we really do need those it's numbers. It's it important really for is. the town to understand how many people are using the facilities. Right because you yeah. know that's one of the ways that you justify what you're doing Absolutely. and if, if we see that seven people use the weight room when you and I both know it's hundreds but if mm -hmm. only seven are checking in it's hard for me to say no yes. no that many really yes. use it so please it thanks super for... Super important. Yep. Thanks for reminding us. But that's the good news. Starting September 23rd, we'll, we're excited to undertake this endeavor and know that it will be, you know, as everything is, a little challenge at first, but we're going to make it work. And mm -hmm. I'm sure people will get a good workout in. I know people, yes. as you say, are so dedicated, yourself included, <laughs> to the weight room. So we're happy to be able to do that. And we look forward to expanding what we're offering here well, that's at the great. Community Center. Thank you for telling us about that. Um, and what do you have on next? Well, I always like to remind people that um, you can get a uh, membership at the Cultural Center. I mean, at the Community Center. Whoops, I looked down. Shouldn't have done that. Where are we? We um, are at the Community Center. Community Center, yes. So weight room memberships, as you know, we have daily, weekly, monthly, and the year membership. 
Then I always remind people that we send out in the Chronicle, they're so good, we have sponsors who take care of printing our monthly calendar. But it's also on our web page and it's on our Facebook page. We, um, Sam puts it up and we have hard copies here in the building. So monthly you can grab one of these schedules and you know we have the activity book. Again, you can find all that on our page. But I like to remind people, if you're looking for something, check it out. And if you don't see something, a class that you're interested in, just give us a call. We'll see what we can do for you. Great. It's nice to have a piece of paper for people to take away. It sure is Even though we yeah. have the beautiful screens. Yes. Uh, that tell the daily schedule. It's great to have something that people can take with them right. to remind themselves at home. And of plan their calendars, exactly. sure. Exactly. Sure. So now let's run down the road, if you okay. don't mind. We'll run over to the cultural Scampering center. down to Scampering Sisson down. Road. Right. right. Uh, so this weekend is busy. Mm -hmm. Here at the community center, you know, we have the antique show going on in the gym. That's so exciting. Um, the jailhouse barbecue is happening in town and right across the street at the cultural center is the flea uh, little market that buoys and burlap is doing so what I like to do park at the cultural center because there's not a lot of parking over at the police and fire as you know oh. park at the cultural center and you're gonna walk over and while you're walking over you're gonna walk right through the flea what a great <laughs> thing you get to see there's so many different vendors and that's from 9 to 2. This is on Saturday? Uh, this is Saturday, okay. September 1, mm -hmm. 9 to 2. And you might see some of these flyers up. This is their flyer for it. It's right on the mm -hmm. front lawn at the Cultural Center. Great. So uh, just a little tidbit. There's so much to do around town. You can kind of plan your day, but mm -hmm. just wanted to give them a plug. Mm -hmm. Good. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is that we are working with, at the Cultural Center, the Epilepsy Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, and we are putting on September 8th, from 1 to 4, they're going to do a afternoon of creative and self-expression. Uh, I think this is so important. This is kind of a population underserved, the uh, families who have children with epilepsy. Mm -hmm. It's important. We don't uh, reach out enough and and try and include uh, you know as a family it can be very difficult to make sure that your child is okay and mm -hmm. this is a safe environment for them we're happy to be partnering with mm -hmm. with different groups like this so if there's something that we're missing again things that we're not seeing this was brought to us by a resident whose child uh, has epilepsy and there is nothing on Cape Cod uh, so we're happy to be one of the ones reaching out and trying to make that happen. That's great. So you're providing the space at the Cultural Center for Correct. this. Correct. Yes. And, yeah. and it is open to all children? Um, this one is open to um, middle schoolers. All children of middle school age? Yes. And okay. their families, of course. Yes, of course. Um, but, you know, other people can certainly stop by and get other, other information because I know they do different age groups at different mm -hmm. times. So I we see. have paired okay. up with them for a few different ones. And there will be information there about the Epilepsy Foundation, yes. too. Yes. Okay. Correct. That will be great. Um, and I just <laughs> wanted to mention that the Cultural Center has a new Facebook page. Ooh. So all of these events, including things like we have a new art class starting on September 5th, um, we have uh, live drawing classes, so you can get our whole schedule for the Cultural Center uh, right on our Facebook page. And please like it, take a look, see what's going on. We're trying to post pictures and put things up, and mm -hmm. uh, so we're excited about all of that. Uh, and we are moving forward trying to put together some incubator space in the kitchen. Stay tuned for that. I'll keep you updated. Incubator space. That is an intriguing I love to leave someone hanging suggestion. with excitement. Okay, want to excitement. hear more about that next time. Absolutely. All um, right. And the last thing I just need to mention is on Tuesday is election day. So please come Tuesday out and vote. The, the fifth. Fifth. Fourth. 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 The fourth. September fourth. Wednesday is the fifth. September, September 4th, fourth. Election day. And yes. it is a very good reminder because it's so hard upon Labor Day. It and is. So, and it's here at the yeah. community center as always. But I just wanted yes. to remind people of that. That's so a good plug. We're, Very important. We woo. need to get involved in our politics. There's and, a uh, lot going on. So yes. don't miss any of it. Look, it's right here in front of me. See? That's what these calendars are good for. Okay. It's right there. Good reminder. Come come vote so well thanks so much for coming here and telling us all about the great things that are happening at both 
of these facilities because you do a great job with all of it. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stop by either building. Let us know what we can do for you. Yep, we will. <coughs> You know, I, I'm just amazed at how much Carolyn does because she has to I know, go between amazing. here and the cultural center, yes. and there's so much going on in both places, especially this weekend. And she makes it look so easy. She does. She, she really it, does. She really does, yeah. and it's it's far from easy, and she mm -hmm. really she just handles it with such grace and yes. uh, professionalism, and, <laughs> and uh, I can't and say enough about her. <laughs> but she did mention one thing that I think is a great uh, initiative that um, they're, they're doing. Uh, this Kids Connect, um, calling all middle schoolers, I think this is really a great idea. It is. Uh, an afternoon of creativity and self-expression. I know Carolyn mentioned it, um, and uh, they are requesting an RSVP on that. Uh, it's Saturday, September 8th from 1 to 4, which she did mention. Um, the RSVP is not required, but they would like you to do it if you could. And the contact is Sabine Samaha, and her um, email is ssamaha uh, at epilepsynewengland.org. Let me repeat that. S-S-A-M-A-H-A at epilepsynewengland.org. <coughs> and you can contact uh, and let them know that you're going to attend that. And again, that's at the Cultural Center uh, on September 8th. So um, I know Carolyn mentioned it in her piece, but we just wanted to underline it because it is a new initiative, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, it sounds like a great idea. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, what do you have there? Another great thing that happens uh, yearly. Yes, it does. They're looking for volunteers for the Coast Sweep 2018. And if you're wondering what Coast Sweep is, it's a synonym for cleanup. But it's greatly needed and greatly appreciated, and it's going to be happening at the Sacquatucket Harbor parking lot, 715 Route 28 in Harwichport, on Saturday, September 29th. So at the end of the month, Saturday, September 29th at 9 a.m. will be the Coast, Coast Sweep, sorry, and the rain date is the next day, Sunday, September 30th. And if you're interested, you can contact Nikki Smith, Town of Harwich Conservation Department, uh, by phone. Her number is 508-430-7538. And her um, email is n, as in Nancy, nsmith at town.harwich.mass.us, all lowercase letters. Uh, for more information on Coast Sweep Beach Cleanups in general, you can email Coast Sweep at state.ma.us or call them at 617-626-1200. And the sponsors of this um, particular Coast Sweep are the Massachusetts Office of Coastal Zone Management, the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation, Ocean Conservancy, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Very good. Very needed. Yeah. We have to keep our coast clean. Yes, that's for sure. Yeah, coastline, and, uh, very important. Yeah, it's a very important effort there, that's for sure. You have something else? I do. Oh, good. Yeah, something near and dear to my heart. The Master Gardener Association of Cape Cod is presenting Autumn Joy 2018. It is a fall gardening forum. It's going to be held here Saturday, September 29th, uh, right here at the Harwich Community Center. Registration begins at 8.30 a.m., and the program will be held from 9 to 12.30. Uh, there's many different um, options of uh, talks that you can attend, but I'll mention a few of them. Uh, it will be featuring a brief history of long-term climate change and how plants have responded. Also, garden design, finding inspiration, start with color. Um, the brief history of long-term climate change will be presented by jo George Jacobson, Professor Emeritus of Biology, Ecology, and Climate Change at the University of Maine, a Maine State Climatologist. And uh, the Garden Design Finding Inspiration will be presented by Karen Slavins, who is the past president of the Master Gardener Association of Cape Cod and graduate of the Chicago Art Institute with a degree in textile design. Uh, the following workshops will run concurrently. Participants may attend two of the four and they're listed here on this form, and you do need to come to the community center, and I imagine they're probably elsewhere in town also, uh, because you do have to pre-register, it is required, and one registration form per attendee is requested. 
It's $20 for the cost of the program. It includes morning refreshments, and you will make your check payable to Master Gardening Association of Cape Cod. And then your registration will be confirmed by email. Very good. Yes, and there's an address where to send your, your check in your form Very at good. the bottom. Important form. Yes, it is. Autumn Joy 2018, <laughs> Saturday, September 29th, right here. Harwich Community Center. Oh, very good. Thanks, Amy. <coughs> You're welcome. We mentioned this uh, last week, and again, it, it's so important we need to mention it again. Uh, the blood drive is taking place again here Wednesday, September 5th. As we've said before, it is very, very important. Uh, here on the Cape, unfortunately, there are accidents. People need blood, and any blood that is given on Cape Cod stays on Cape Cod uh, to help those in need of it. Uh, Wednesday, September 5th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. right here at the Community Center. Uh, if um, uh, you feel that you can, it would be much appreciated for you to give blood. Um, and you get a gift card from Cumberland Farms when you donate. So uh, it is a wonderful effort and uh, hopefully uh, you can keep, uh, take part in that. And um, uh, if you need more information, you can call 508-862-5663. That's 508-862-5663. They also have a website. It's www.capecodhealth.org forward slash give dash blood. So uh, again, very, very important. And um, you know, what's donated here stays here. Very important, as you said. Yeah, it sure unfortunately. is. Unfortunately. Now, right around the corner, and it's creeping up on us, and I can't believe we're talking about this already, Cranfest is coming up. Wow. This is a great thing every year, and Ed McManus sat down with Dinah to bring us up to date as to what's going to happen this year at Cranfest. So let's take a look. Hello. I'm here with Ed McManus, who is the president of the Harwich Cranberry Festival. Yes. Among many other things. He wears many hats. <laughs> but today, he is here to talk about the Harwich Cranberry Festival. Yeah, well, so, well thank you for having me. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, as we always look forward to it. Oh, so well, we'll hear all about what you have planned. Well, to this is, uh, as it turns out, is our 42nd season oh. um, uh, for the Cranberry Festival and uh, the activities we do. And uh, as, uh, as we get into September, our two sort of highlight uh, events, uh, Family Beach Day is coming up and the festival itself. And Family Beach Day will be the Saturday after Labor Day, uh, okay. sa September 8th. Okay. Um, and we're holding it down at Red River Beach. Great um, beach. Yes, it is. Beautiful it's. Uh, uh, the hours of it are, are 11 to 3, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's, uh, it's basically a day uh, that we just put on events for uh, us locals to enjoy our beach now that the season is sort of over, you know, although the yeah. season tends to get extended <laughs> more and more as years go on, but uh, mm -hmm. it's primarily a, 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 an activity we do for, for us folks here in Harwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it uh, has a lot of different aspects. We have um, uh, hay rides and touch a truck with uh, some public works and the fire and police. A lot of different beach games and we actually just got uh, some new games uh, were given to us from another event that happened up in Provincetown uh, a week ago. Oh. So we'll be trying out some new games for the kids at the beach. Uh, you know. Right. And, uh, the traditional ones of three-legged three legged race <laughs> and tug-of-war will happening. Um, we're going to bring down actually some forms and uh, shovels for people who want to be in the sand sculpture contest to make up a good pile of sand that then they can take the forms off and try and uh, carve out a, a nice uh, sand castle with, um, uh, which I think will, will help. Uh, we've been having the sand sculpture contest for many years, but mm -hmm. without have providing some equipment to ah, do it right, yeah. we uh, it's sort of just sort of modest little lumps of sand. <laughs> this I think will we, we'll, yeah, we'll incite some people to try to be right. much more creative. We'll provide and more options for that, people and then uh, yep. the uh, Buka Restaurant uh, Depot Dogs uh, trailer is going to provide food uh, for us this year. 
um, and we'll be doing a bake table, which will be run by the uh, one of the Boy uh, Cub Scout packs. Mm -hmm. Um, the Hirich Library, um, they're coming down and they'll have a, uh, a pin, a button making a, a operation set up for a, a craft and they're also sponsoring uh, a juggler to be there. Um, Sean, our musician, magician will be back. He's been with us a number of years through his high school years. He's now away at college but he returns He's still uh, making magic? Yeah, still making magic for okay. us. Um, great. A great, a great kid. And then um, uh, Cindy from the Chamber of Commerce will be running uh, the craft tent again this right. year, which uh, mm -hmm. involves paint and seashells and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and lots mess. Of <laughs> yeah, lots, of, lots of natural yeah. Uh, products. Yeah, That's so perfect. it'll be, uh, I, I think, a great, uh, a great event. Um, and uh, if it's... Uh, uh, it doesn't look like it is, looking at the long-range forecast, but if it's uh, rainy on uh, Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, flop over uh, the rain date on Sunday. Oh, uh, that hopefully, makes it simple. Yep, okay. Yep. Good. Yeah. And uh, um, so, tell me, there. I'm assuming there is no parking fee at that point. No parking fee. So um, we block off a part of the parking area, mm -hmm. uh, so for some of the activities. For the activities, yes. but people. Uh, mm -hmm. People can park around, and, and there's plenty mm -hmm. of parking down the other end. And then on Sunday, uh, the chamber is going to be doing their hometown parade yes. in, through yes. Harwichport, yep. uh, starting at 11. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's 11.30, actually. I forget exactly. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but right. close enough. Yep. Um, and uh, we'll go through Harwichport, up, uh, ending at the Cultural Center. Um, and then and will, uh, we, will there be a cranberry festival float? Uh, we don't know yet. We have I to see, see how uh, far we can stretch our volunteers, which actually yeah. is a, another I issue. If anybody uh, would like to have some fun and yeah. get involved in the festival committee, we are always looking for volunteers. Um, okay. How uh, would they contact you? Uh, they can uh, contact me mm -hmm. at 508 527 7620. Or if you go on our uh, website, uh, harwichcranberryfestival.org, O-R-G, mm -hmm. um, th there's the email address that you can uh, send us an email. Okay. And we'll get in contact with you. And we're looking people, you know, with Beach Day to help out running some of the, the games on the sand with the kids, yeah. um, whether it's ring toss or, or one thing or another, or helping at the bake table, you know, uh, not not real heavy lifting. And then the following weekend with the Cranberry Festival, we need a number of volunteers and mm -hmm. um, we'll be uh, having a, a main gate and we need some people mm -hmm. to monitor that mm -hmm. in two hour shifts, um, it, especially first thing in the morning, um, mm -hmm. eight o'clock, we need people there to help us mm -hmm. establish the parking flow yes, for a yes, couple hours. Right, it isn't. So isn't an all-day thing, but um, it's usually managed yeah, very, very well. Yeah, I know yeah. last year I was very impressed with how it all went. Yeah. And what about um, age limit for helpers? Do you have um, do you have requirements for age uh, lower age limits? For instance, can well, teenagers help with some? Teenagers of this? can help, and actually, we recruit a lot of uh, some teenagers, especially with on Friday afternoon with the setup activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and early uh, Saturday morning with helping some of the older vendors that mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. uh, to help them unload right. and set up their booths. We get a lot of right. uh, uh, the key club and uh, last year we had the soccer and, and one of the track teams right. uh, come over. Um, we've uh, so been in contact with the athletic boosters um, organization and yeah. A couple of the parents uh, right. came over and helped, right. but uh, so I would think there'd be a lot yeah, of energy in that yeah, age group. Yeah, there as is. Well as in the um, age groups. But you know, there's some some uh, some of the activities. You, we need somebody a little bit older who's been around and seen some things yeah, to sort sure. of understand. But uh, you can place people yeah, where you think yeah, they can yeah. be most useful. And we do it all in like two-hour shifts, so it's not mm -hmm. an extended. Yeah. You know, it's not an all-day commitment. Not a huge <laughs> you know, to anybody, and yeah. you know, because we will you know, other areas we need help is selling tickets at, at over in the beer and wine concession, which mm -hmm. is 
over near the music tent, which a lot of people find fun <laughs> to, to be over there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so, anyway, those are the things. If anybody, we, you know, we're down to probably about 12 volunteers that are mm -hmm. sort of continuous ongoing, year, ongoing, ongoing mm -hmm. year in, uh, day in and day, you know, month in and month yeah. out, all year long. Yes. And it's just at the times of our events that we mm -hmm. need to swell our ranks yeah. to, to help out. Understandably, um, you yeah. have a lot planned. Yeah, um, yeah, and as as to what's planned, uh, well, we have uh, one of the reasons we've moved up here behind the community center is uh, we were running out of room to squeeze in craft vendors. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Down there, we were sort of at a max of about 120. Yeah. Um, I think we're up to now 154 uh, vendors signed up, and then there's wow. another. Uh, 12 uh, of the nonprofit groups that will be there mm -hmm. doing either selling raffle tickets or just providing Promoting information their for their their organizations. Mm -hmm. Everybody from the Kalanis group to the uh, uh, Harwich Education Association to um, uh, I think uh, Cape Cod Hospital will be there selling raffle tickets on a painting. So mm -hmm. a whole variety of groups like that. Um, and uh, that starts at uh, nine, um, nine o'clock on uh, Saturday. The date uh, is the fifteenth. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a food court that we'll which be setting up, and I think we'll have eight eight different food mm. trucks set mm -hmm. up um, uh, uh, for the, for the event, which will be nice. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, uh, the, also on Saturday, starting at noon and running about 12:30, and running till eight when the fireworks go off, is, is the Cran Jam M Music Festival. Yes, oh, and, that was uh, so wonderful yeah. last year. Just the groups that you had. And this year, the groups that we have will start off with uh, Chandler Travis, mm -hmm. his his three O group, mm -hmm. and as a special guest, he's having Cami Lyle come uh -huh. and do some singing. Um, it'll be followed by N Train, uh, the sort of rocking uh, dance band uh, off of uh, Martha's Vineyard. I think they've been together over 25 years now. Wow. Um, wow. And then uh, a special treat uh, out of Mex uh, Texas, we're having a group called Los Tex Maniacs, their Grammy Award, award winning Tex Mex band, um, uh, uh, led by Max Baca and their. New album out is doing quite well on the uh, Smithsonian Folksways label. Um, it's uh, uh, getting a lot of airplay. Mm -hmm. And the final band is Donna the Buffalo, who will lead up to uh, yes. when the fire fireworks get shut off. I remember them from last yep. year. They were very, very good. And then uh, last year we didn't have any music on Sunday, and people's there's evidence people missed that kind and wanted it. it wanted it and yeah. so mm -hmm. we've arranged uh, this year um, from starting at uh, about 12 and running to 3 mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. the festival ends at 4 um, we have the Monica Rizzio band oh, um, mm -hmm. and then uh, Bruce McLean aka Link M Montana uh -huh. uh, with the uh, the Cyclones will be playing also well, I'm and, sure people yeah. will appreciate having that yeah. music on Sunday yeah. too. Because and uh, in the in the music tent, we'll also be have have setting up a dance floor for people who want to actually use a lot of these are very danceable uh, groups. And uh, picnic tables will be set up so you can you know get something to eat and a beverage from the beer and wine concession and sit down and and listen to the band and have a good time. Um, the, it all sounds fabulous, yeah. and uh, I know it rarely rains here on the Cape, but uh, rain date for that, what happens? No rain date. So it, we will run rain it or ra rain or shine. Okay, you know? good to know. Um, we're, we're hardy New Englanders. Yes, we certainly are. <laughs> yes. Or that's what I'm told. And I'm actually from California, fun. but you know. So. <laughs> it will be a fun time nonetheless. Yeah. So. So, okay. um, and then the last thing that's going to happen on Sunday, mm -hmm. it's the uh, going to be the it's actually, this is the 20th anniversary of the Old Colony Rail Trail, oh. which is oh, the spur wow. of the trail wow. from the Cape Cod Trail that runs through Harwich and out mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. Chatham. So the Harwich Bike Committee asked if they could do a sort of a joint event with us and on the day. And so on Sunday at 11, mm -hmm. they're going to gather down at uh, Brooks Park, 
and uh, um, take off uh, on a ride after a, a, f a very brief <laughs> ceremony. ceremony. <laughs> take off and ride the, the trail into Chatham and, and then come back and head for the festival. And we've set up an area where there'll be a bike corral that people can park their bikes in and lock them, but they'll be looked after. Mm -hmm. um, and for folks that show up for the, uh, the ride, uh, they, they're having prepared a commemorative uh, 20th anniversary water bottle. And so the, f the first 150 people that sign up for the ride will be getting a, a water bottle. So sign up is done when? Uh, you sign up's done at eleven when you at, show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ride, and okay. uh, there's not a pre-registration. Yeah, no, nope, no, nope. and okay. then uh, you know after the ride's over, you can come up and get something to eat, see the crafts, and listen to some music at, at the festival. Um, or so you know, and the the, cool. the bike corral will actually be set up for both uh, Saturday and Sunday, okay. Okay. and you know it's. Uh, Parking is much better uh, mm -hmm. up up that way than it was when we were down at Brooks Park. Yes, but yes. you know, any any way we can keep fewer cars from showing up, <laughs> it's less mm -hmm. tax on our air quality and less tax on on the parking resource. So true. People true. can bike yeah. to the the festival. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. a good suggestion. For sure. People. Yes. So yes. anyway. And that's so what it's it a is. real wrap around weekend. Yeah, it is. So it many is. events yeah. all combined. <laughs> it's going to be so terrific. Yeah. And then uh, one of the things that we'll be doing uh, at, the, uh, at the festival is we'll be uh, recruiting people for the following weekend, mm -hmm. which is, we all know, is the Big Fix weekend here. That's right. That's I know right. those folks yes. will be there trying to put together some mm -hmm. volunteers to help out with that weekend. Good. Yes. So. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. It sounds very good, and thank you so much for all your work and the work of your committee. And I know it's a, it's a village that does all. Oh this. yes. Um, and, uh, but thanks for coming and telling us about it. As well, well, thank you for having me. It's always it's always fun. <laughs> thanks, Ed. You know, he is, Ed is so full of information, yes, and Cran Jam sounds incredible this year. It really does. They just keep making it better every year. I don't know how they do it, but they do. That's right. That's for sure. We do have to remind you that the Harwich Community Center is going to be closed on Monday, September 3rd, due to Labor Day. In fact, all the town offices will be closed uh, Labor Day. So no so laboring here. No laboring, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, that's our show for this week. Uh, we hope uh, that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much on behalf of all of us here at Channel 18. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Yes, and a safe one. Be aware of your surroundings because there's going to be a lot of people down here to take advantage of all the things we told you about that's going on around town. Take care, everybody. Have fun. Bye-bye for now. Bye.